Thanks for taking a look at my tutorial. Uh, today we're going to look at creating a functional chest. Okay, so on our road to build a functional chest, uh, I've actually already built it. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through and show you exactly what needs to be done. Uh, this is actually very simple, so just uh, bear with me here. Uh, what you'll notice right off the bat is that we do have two separate event pages, and we will get to that here in just a moment. Uh, but the first thing we want to check when in making an actual chest is you want to make sure that this option down here, labeled Direction Fix, you want to make sure that that is checked. Uh, the reason for this is to make sure when you activate the chest that it does not change direction. Um, for example, if you approach a chest from the left and try to open it, it'll screw up the animation and it just won't look right when it's opening. So uh, the direction fix is key here. Uh, everything else should be fine. Uh, the next thing that we want to look at here is the actual graphic. And for those of you new to RPG Maker, uh, we'll go ahead and I'll just explain this a little bit. Uh, we're going to just uh, explain these tile sets a little bit here. Uh, for example, if we look at an animal here, you will notice that it has four basic directions. Uh, that's down, left, right, and up. Uh, it's no different. Uh, this operates in the exact same fashion as a chest. Uh, even though it looks like it's facing down, it's actually each one of these frames in the chest opening is actually the chest itself just facing a different direction. Uh, so what we need to look at now, or now that we've understood that, uh, we can close out of this window here and we'll actually get to business. Uh, now let's go ahead uh, make sure your graphic is set to the chest as it is closed uh, because that's how it will uh, appear initially in the game as a closed chest. Uh, now what we'll do here is just go through this list of event commands and I'll kind of walk you through this. Uh, the first one we have here is text of course it says you open the chest uh, and that will display a message of course. Uh, now in order to get this chest to actually animate and to open up right in front of us, uh, we need to, uh, this is where this gets a little complicated here, uh, what we need to do is actually set a move route on this event. Uh, you'll notice right here at the top that it is labeled this event, and if we actually, whoops, if we actually look at this, uh, at the top left you can change what this is for, so we need to make sure that that is set to this event. Uh, the next thing is that it's going to play a sound effect of a chest opening. Uh, the next thing you'll need to add in is direction fix off, and what this will do is toggle that off for you momentarily so that it can animate and then lock itself back into whatever position it ends in. For uh, for this instance, it's going to turn off so it can open and turn back on so that it cannot so the animation can't be messed with. Uh, so direction fix off, and we're going to do it in order, and that is down, left, right, up. You want to make sure you're set that to turn and not to move. Uh, now what will happen here is uh, the turn down, it's already face down. That's what this this is right here. That's what it looks like. Uh, but just for safe measure, I put that in there. Uh, when it turns left, it will slightly creak open. When it turns right, it'll get open a little further and turn up, it will finally be completely open. Uh, so that's what you do. Set in the move route, type in uh, or put in your direction fix on. That way it will lock it back. And once you've done that, uh, your chest will be open and you can set in an event, of course, to uh, give you an item or just whatever you need here in this. Uh, but what we need to look at is how to finish this up. Now, to avoid any errors later, after you put in this move route, you'll want to put in a command that says wait for moves completion. And this keeps it from switching over to the other page, uh, the other switch, before uh, before this move is completed, before it's done animating the opening. So this is very important here. Wait for moves completion. Uh, if you do not understand switches or self-switches, uh, I do believe there's some other videos on that, so if you'd like to go check those out, uh, you can get a little more information if you're lost at this point. For that, I do apologize. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do is control self-switch, and we, ta uh, we changed A to on. So we'll go ahead and go to our second page here, which is activated when self-switch A turns on. Uh, all I did was give it a little bit of text here that says the chest has already been opened. Uh, and the only thing you need to worry about on this page is make sure that direction fix is ticked and you want to make sure that the animation you're ending on for in this case the chest is open uh, you want to make sure that's selected so basically what happens is it goes from here it opens goes to page two and then locks in the open position as well as giving you a text uh, you know saying that you can't get the treasure out twice or just whatever you want 
Uh, so hopefully this hasn't been too confusing here. Uh, that should be everything, and we'll go ahead and give this a little play test just to demonstrate. Uh, it'll be a real quick thing. Okay, so we have our chest. Uh, of course, it's locked in that position. It doesn't matter which position I come face it from. It's going to do the exact same thing. Uh, so we'll go up to it and activate. You open the chest. It opens right up and locks in that position. That's the second page right there. And once we try to open it, this chest has been opened. And it doesn't matter where we go. It's going to say the same thing. And the poor hero does not get his treasure twice. Uh, and at this point, I, I believe that is everything, and I hope you learned something, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.